I heard about this man. He was sitting on an airplane next to a beautiful single lady. They struck up a conversation. and He asked her what kind of men she liked. She said, well, I like Native American men with their high cheekbones and golden tan skin. Plus, I like Jewish men. They're so brilliant and successful. And I like good old boys from the South with their long Southern drawl. What's your name? He said, my name is Geronimo Bernstein, but my friends call me Bubba. I heard about this group of elderly ladies. They were way up in their 80s. As they were driving down the freeway together, they got pulled over by a police officer. The officer said to the driver, ma'am, do you realize you're only going 35 miles an hour? She said, yes, officer, I do realize that. He said, well, why are you going so slow? She said, the sign says 35. The officer kind of laughed. He said, no, ma'am, that's the number of the freeway. This is Highway 35. (laughs) By the way, why are these other ladies in your car so terrified looking? She smiled and said, because we just got off Highway 95. (laughs) I heard about this church service. One Sunday morning, everything was going great until a lightning bolt hit the building. After the smoke cleared, Satan himself was standing behind the podium. People panicked and ran out as fast as they could. Everyone, that is, except one woman. She sat on the front row as calmly as could be. Satan was appalled. He said, lady, do you know who I am? She said, I sure do. He said, aren't you afraid of me? She said, not in the least bit. He said, why not? She said, why should I be? I've been married to your brother for 30 years. (laughs) I like to start with something funny each week, and I heard about this blonde lady, and you know I'm married to a beautiful, smart, intelligent blonde. This is just a joke. But this blonde was at Target, and she saw this thermos up on the shelf. She asked the clerk what it was. He said, that's a thermos. You've never used one of those? She said, no. What does it do? He said, it keeps things hot, and it keeps things cold. The next day, she showed up at work with it. Her boss said, I've never seen you with the thermos. What do you have in there? She said, two popsicles and some coffee. (laughs) I heard about this husband and wife. They were celebrating their 60th birthdays together. An angel suddenly appeared and said God was going to grant them each one special request. They were so excited. The wife said, my request is that we'd be able to travel all over the world. Poof, when the smoke cleared, she had tickets in her hand. The husband hung his head in shame. He said, my request is that I would be married to a woman 30 years younger than me. And poof, when the smoke cleared, he was 90 years old. I heard about these three sisters, ages 96, 94, and 92, that lived together. One day, the 96-year-old draws a bath. She puts one foot in and stops. She hollers downstairs, I can't remember if I was getting in or getting out. The 94-year-old said, just a second, I'll come up and help you. She gets halfway up the stairs and stops. She says, I can't remember if I was going up or coming down. The 92-year-old shook her head and said, boy, I hope I never get that forgetful. She knocked on wood for good luck. Then she said, hang on, I'll come help both of you as soon as I see who's at the door. I heard about this pastor. He'd been out bear hunting all day long, and searched and searched through the woods, no sign of a bear. Finally, in frustration, he threw his gun on the ground and went to the stream to cool off. About that time, he sees this huge grizzly running toward him full speed ahead, about 100 yards up in front of him. He fell on his knees and said, God, I need protection. Please convert this bear into a Christian. Miraculously, the bear froze in his tracks, put both paws toward the heavens, and said, Lord, thank you for this food that I'm about to eat. (laughs) Funny. I heard about this minister. He was driving down the road when he got pulled over by a policeman. The officer came up to the window and smelled alcohol. He saw a thermos and said, Sir, what are you drinking? The minister said, Just water, officer. He asked to see the thermos. He took one sniff and said, Smells like wine to me. The minister said, what do you know? Jesus did it again. (laughs) 